So true story, I remember the first time I saw the Hit Me Baby One More Time video, I was homesick from school, it was playing on MTV, and I was like, that is the most beautiful and dynamic person I have ever seen. And she has 0.5% mm, of an eyebrow. Me with my friend Joanna, and we both plucked the crap out of our eyebrows. So you can see that they're these tiny little thin lines. So this is in my early 20s. I tried to let them grow out a little bit, but nothing was happening. They're never gonna be what an eyebrow was supposed to be. In terms of unrealistic eyebrow goals, I've pulled this picture of Lily Collins. This is my younger sibling, Grace Dunham, who I think has the best eyebrows. I'm here to get my eyebrows transformed by the mistress herself. I've had one session with Dominique and it's usually it's a process. It's a few yes, it's a three session to make sure that we keep the result extremely natural. There was a receptionist in my ear, nose and throat doctor's office. I don't know how we got into a conversation about me complaining about my lack of eyebrows and she was like, well, I just did microblading. And I was, I was like, what is that? And she was like, it's an eyebrow tattoo. And my first reaction was like, hell to the F no. It's gonna slowly soften like a patina and then it will completely blend. I always say that a tattoo is a little bit like scratching a sunburn. This is a much lighter version of that. There was like one spot you hit that made me sneeze and that's about as bad as it got. One time somebody told me my eyebrows were not on fleek and I thought about it for like six days. My character was a woman of weak eyebrows and that was what she had to be. So now I'm entering a new phase of my life and I think maybe I discovered my eyebrows just when I was supposed to. Basically Dominique is doing face tune in real life. I'm just gonna go with my usual selfie face which is something a little more like this. That's really telling the brow story.